Ten years ago, I was standing right here in Piazza Grande, in the center of Gubbio, for the Festa dei Ceri. That is the most happening event in this town on May 15th. And it looks pretty serene right now. If you look around, there aren't too many people around. But on May 15th, you were like a sardine in a can because everybody was here in the center waiting for the race of the three saints. The first thing you need to know about La Festa dei Ceri is that there's nothing like it in America. And I mean nothing, except maybe New Year's Eve in Times Square. But even that doesn't hold a candle to what happens in the medieval town of Gubbio every May 15th. In New York City, Americans celebrate the future. In Gubbio, the Eu Gubini celebrate the past with a race, not between people, but between saints, Santubaldo, Antonio, and Giorgio. It all starts the day before, right here in the basement of Il Palazzo dei Consoli, the town's historic municipal building. To prepare for the race, Gubbio's townspeople volunteer to cook a meatless feast for la vigilia, the vigil. Here they're preparing bacala arosta, roasted codfish, and adding hunks of crescia, cheese bread. They'll sell it to the public for a mere three dollars. And while the work is going on here, in the kitchen, another feast is being prepared for the privileged thousand or so guests who, along with town officials, will eat together upstairs in the Palazzo dei Consoli just before La Corsa dei Ceri. The clock is ticking and the crowd is growing in the piazza. Tens of thousands of people from all across Italy have traveled here today to cheer on their favorite saint. If they're rooting for Santo Baldo, they're wearing red and gold. If it's San Giorgio, they're dressed in blue. And San Antonio's colors are black. Me? I'm counting on San Tubaldo to cross the finish line first. But then, that's the best part of La Corsa dei Ceri. San Tubaldo always wins. In fact, he's been winning since the 13th century, when the church Christianized what was up to then a pagan fertility rite. Why May 15th? That's the feast of Guvio's beloved bishop and patron saint Ubaldo. And what better competitors to race against him? San Giorgio, Saint George, the defender of the faith, and Sant'Antonio, gentle Saint Anthony, patron saint of the working class. You don't have to be an Eu Gubino or even from Umbria to enjoy this special day. But if you are, then this small town acts like a magnet and pulls you back year after year to gather in the Piazza Grande, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, and sometimes body to body. But all breathing stops when the Palazzo dei Consoli doors open and Sant'Ubaldo races out. That's not a wooden coffin the racers are carrying. It's called un cero, or candle, and it weighs a thousand pounds. And that tiny little statue on top that looks like a friendly Santa Claus? That's Santubaldo himself. Next out races San Giorgio. Then finally, San Antonio. Now it's time to bless each saint with holy water. Now, hold on to your hat. Here comes the best part. Before the race begins, the various teams parade the cherry up and down the narrow streets so that the citizens of Gubbio can pin money to their clothes, touch them with reverence, give them a pat on the back, and encourage them to do their best. The cherry are so heavy that the teams have to change runners every few minutes. And while that's happening outside, the feasting begins inside the Palazzo dei Consoli. The sumptuous menu includes a cold seafood salad of shrimp, calamari, and mussels, seafood risotto, boiled salmon with caper sauce, roast pork with rosemary, frittata filled with seafood, mixed green salad, and a sponge cake filled with pastry cream in the shape of the chatty. Needless to say, excellent Umbrian wines flow in abundance too. Hear that singing? It's coming from downstairs where even more excitement is going on. The race team needs their energy too, and now it's time to get plenty of it. 
The moment has arrived at last. A good thing, too, because there practically is no oxygen left for me to breathe. Once they've finished here, the racers will run up and down the twisting eye of the needle streets of Gubbio, then climb the narrow road leading up Mount Ingino, where they'll finally come to a rest at the summit at the church of Sant'Ubaldo. What a privilege for us to be in the midst of this reverend frenzy and to see what La Corsa dei Ceri means to the people of Gubbio. All too soon, the saints will once again be returned to their resting places, but the singing and dancing and joy for this day continues long into the night, while plans are being made for next year's race, and the anticipation of who will win La Corsa dei Ceri will build once again in the souls and hearts of the Eugubini.